1731 has become one of the most dominant teams in the district. After winning both their district events, they just won the Chesapeake District Championship. With such an impressive note scoring mechanism, a uh, impressive auto routine, and a high flying trap mechanism, they were a sight to behold. Now we're about to dive in behind the bumpers and take a look at this amazing draw. This is Griffin Potter, and welcome to Behind the Bumpers. All right, so let's take a look at this champion robot. So you guys have an impressive note handling capabilities. Explain a bit on that. So with our note handling, what we do is we we have an under the bumper intake. So our intake is secure, we get hit hard. Um, so it comes in under here and then comes up to our indexer rollers. And then it, um, it, once we intake, it automatically runs the jiggle function. So it, it sends it further than the rollers and spins these back so that it can free up in case it came in jammed to the side. And then it brings it back down. And uh, that also makes it more consistent. And then it's ready to be shot. We can adjust the angle of the wrist. And then uh, for amp score, we adjust the angle back like that all right and uh you guys also have an amazing auto routine and just can like sip, sip up notes so quickly in those 15 seconds explain a little bit what went into that and how you're able to do that so handedly absolutely using path platter we rigorously fine-tuned our autos at a perfect six piece now we are before this competition we were fourth in the world in auto epa haven't checked since then but i know that uh we we're one of the most um accurate teams in, in collecting and scoring our six piece a lot of that is due to a lot of patience from our drive team and a lot of dedication to practicing again and again and making sure everything is fine-tuned you know it's been a rewarding experience for sure all right and you guys are also well known for your quick and fast trap mechanism and climb so what all went into the experience of making that and making sure that went off to, without a t to a t yeah, so um, in the beginning of the season, we kind of decided that if we wanted to be able to get the fourth ranking point for the climb, uh, scoring the trap was an essential thing in our design. So we designed our entire robot around scoring the trap, uh, and keeping that in mind. So we just thought of using a three-stage elevator. Uh, if we can power off the robot, I can show you that. So we can lift up our wrist and our elevator will come up. Then we drive over the hook. It'll be right here. Then our elevator comes back down. We lock on to our T-Rex hooks, and then we come back up. Our flap deploys out here for the note, so that way it doesn't get stuck on the polycarb. And then the note goes into the trap, and it comes right back down. All right. Well, on behalf of First Up This Now, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day for this interview, and congratulations, you guys, on going for three blue banners this year. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.